I think I'd rather check out some of the amazing shows that won at the Primetime Emmy Awards on Sunday instead. Agreed. And Grace is here with us tonight to tell us all about the night's big winners. Let's hear it, Grace. Television's biggest night, the 73rd Annual Emmys Awards, took place this past Sunday night. After last year's virtual ceremony, this ceremony was mostly in person, and there were definitely lots of great moments that I'm excited to talk about tonight. So let's dive right in. After a wonderful red carpet with lots of great looks, some of our favorites including Pose's M.J. Rodriguez, Bridgerton's Reggae John Page, and the host, Cedric the Entertainer, the ceremony dove right into the awards. That's not to say there weren't fun moments to be had. There were certainly some funny sketches, including an Emmy's Losers support group with Jason Alexander and Zoe Deschanel. There were also some funny presenters, including the reunion of the cast of Schitt's Creek, who presented the best writing and best directing in a comedy series. The comedy series was an interesting race this year. Frontrunner status seemed to have been given to Apple TV's Ted Lasso ever since it first came out. Jason Sudeikis won Best Comedy Actor at last year's Golden Globes. And for the first few comedy awards, it seemed as if Ted Lasso was going all the way. That is until the winners of Best Writing and Best Directing categories were announced, both going to HBO showbiz comedy Hacks, starring Jean Smart, who then went on to win Best Comedy Actress. The two shows were neck and neck, with three awards each. In the end, Ted Lasso won the category's top prize, Best Comedy Series, but it was nice to see a little bit of variety. That being said, there were lots of great comedy shows this year, and it would have been nice to see a few more be represented among the winners, whether that was Hulu's Pen15, HBO's Flight Attendant, or one of the many other shows nominated. Next up, we'll talk about the Drama Awards, which was a dominated single program, what, which was dominated by a single program, Netflix was the crown, swept all seven awards, with Josh O'Connor's Prince Charles, Tobias Menzies' Prince Philip, Gillian Anderson's Margaret Thatcher, and Olivia Colman's Queen Elizabeth II, all winning the Drama Acting Awards. Coleman's win over Emma Corrin's Princess Diana was interesting, considering Corrin's Golden Globes win. The Crown's victory in Best Writing, Best Directing, and Best Drama Series were all quite monumental for the show, which has won acting awards in the past, but almost always looked over in the big three categories. Although it was tough to see the same program win so many times, especially amidst fantastic series like Pose, The Boys, The Mandalorian, and Lovecraft County, it was great to see The Crown rewarded for a great season. Finally, we have to talk about the most competitive race of the night, the Limited Series Awards. Arguably the most stacked nominees included Netflix's The Queen's Gambit, HBO's I May Destroy You, and Mare of Easttown, Amazon's The Underground Railroad, and Disney Plus's WandaVision. Mare of Easttown won the most awards of the race, winning Best Actress for Kate Winslet, Best Supporting Actor for Evan Peters, and Best Supporting Actress for Julianne Nicholson. Best Lead Actor went to Ewan McGregor for Netflix's TV movie Halston, in a surprise upset where he beat both the leads from Hamilton and Paul Bettany for WandaVision. Best Writing in a Limited Series went to Michaela Cole for I May Destroy You, which marks the first time an African-American woman has ever won in this category. Best Directing and Best Limited Series both went to The Queen's Gambit, despite the Queen herself, Anya Taylor-Joy, losing to Kate Winslet in the Lead Actress category. It was nice seeing a bit more programs win in this race, although admittedly, the lack of recognition for fantastic programs like The Underground Railroad or WandaVision was a bit disappointing. Elsewhere, RuPaul's Drag Race, John Oliver, and Saturday Night Live took home Emmys, as did Hamilton, over other variety specials like Bo Burnham's Masterful Inside, Dave Chappelle's Heartbreaking 846, and David Byrne's Transcendent American Utopia. All in all, it was a good ceremony, and as past Emmy winners like Succession, What We Do in the Shadows, and American Crime Story begin their new seasons, it's hard to not look forward to next year's ceremony. Tweet at us at Sneak Peek TV and tell us what winners surprised you, what was snubbed, and what were your favorite moments.